The Mildred Lane Kemper Art Museum contains a strong collection of artworks from the 19th, 20th, and 21st centuries. Today we'll learn more about two exhibitions currently showing with Sabina Ekman, director and chief curator of the Mildred Lane Kemper Art Museum. I'm just having a, a mouthful here today. <laughs> but you know what? It's an honor to have you here. Thank Give you. me a little bit of your background and how you got into art. Thank you so much for having me, first of all. Um, well, I'm an art historian, so basically, uh, I've, in all of my studies at the university, I focused on the humanities, and I got very much interested in modern art and contemporary art and how that ties to uh, issues of social and political relevance. And I actually um, did work a lot um, on the Holocaust and on World War II, and that also, uh, brought me to this country. So I uh, came from Cologne, Germany to Los Angeles to work on an exhibition of um, German and European artists who fled Hitler uh, and then produced work in the United States. So that's my background. And um, for interesting and coincidental reasons, Washington University's Mildred Lane Kemper Art Museum holds strength in exactly that area. So um, there was actu actually a German exile art historians who came here during World War II. His name uh, was Horst Janssen, and he collected art done by European exile artists, such as Max Beckmann, for example, who also taught at Washington University, or Max Ernst, or the French artist Yves uh, Tanguy. And so my actual research interest uh, matched very well with the holdings of the Kemper Art Museum, so that's what brought me to St. Louis. Well, let's talk about the Kemper Art Museum. How long has it been there? Who is it, you know, who's invited? It actually has been there for a very long time, you wouldn't believe it, since 1881, and it's, um, the f uh, it was at the time uh, the fourth biggest uh, museum west of the Mississippi River. But it went through all kinds of um, changes in terms of its name. So in the beginning it was called the Washington University School of Fine Arts and Museum. It later was called the Gallery of Art. And then it was renamed into the Mildred Lane Kemper Art Museum. And we also have a still brand new building. Um, it's almost 10 years old, uh, but it's uh, certainly um, shaping the east side of the campus. It's a very contemporary uh, building. and. We are inviting everyone. So obviously we have this inbuilt um, audience of students and faculty from Washington University, but the other 50% of our audience is the St. Louis audience. And we do hope uh, that everyone um, comes to the museum and um, explores really um, an outstanding and very distinctive permanent collection, but also the two uh, exhibitions which we have on view right now. You know, I feel really fortunate to live in the St. Louis area and to have the opportunity to have so many jewels, precious hidden jewels inside St. Louis, you know, at our disposal. How important do you think it is that this kind of art is available, readily available to the community? I think it's fantastic. I think uh, St. Louis is really um, very, very fortunate not only to have uh, the collection of the Kemper Art Museum, but also to have uh, the resources and the collection of the St. Louis Art Museum, of the Pulitzer Foundation of the Arts, of the Contemporary Art Museum. All, the, all these institutions together, I think, form a very energetic and vibrant art scene. Uh, and um, we do all hope that visitors come to all of these institutions. Well, we're going to talk about two very specific exhibitions going on at the Art Museum. We have to take a quick break, but when we come back from that break, we'll have more with Sabina Ekman and the Mildred Lane Kemper Art Museum after this. Stay with us.